Hello, welcome to Please Read Your Book. My name's Carl, I talk about books. Today I'm going to talk about The Complete, The Killer, written by Mots and drawn by Luc Jacquemin. Now those are both French names, I apologize for mispronouncing them, and interestingly enough, Mots is just Mots. Just Mots, just one word, Mots. So, I don't know what that's all about. Anyways, um, this was a fantastic, um, I guess, omnibus or compendium of a comic series or a series of graphic novels, really. Um, it's really great. It's highly entertaining, it's, but it's also very compelling. It's really well written, and the artwork is just fantastic, especially I really enjoyed the way it was colored. It has a lot of style to it without overtaking the story, which happens so much in comics and, and in graphic novels. So I felt that it, it really struck a nice balance where the two were, were playing off of each other. This is the story of a hitman who is very well paid and very good at what he does. He also thinks a lot. And while that's a common trope for this kind of story, for this hitman story, to have the sort of the, the internal monologue that's always running, I found that even though it's a trope, the writing of it was done really, really well. And it's almost like a Hemingway-esque kind of writing in that it's concise and it's terse, but it has brevity to it. And that sort of becomes the, the, these internal dialogues become an examination of ethics of who should die and who shouldn't die and who gets to make that decision and why is that decision made. So while all of that is going on internally, while there's this sort of discussion of that going on, the hitman is also trying to figure out how to get out of being a hitman, which again is another very classic trope in this kind of story but it's done so well in here that it's just so compelling that it's just such a natural fit that you don't even really think like, oh, this is a cliche or, or oh, this is a trope. It just, it works really, really well. So yeah, there's, there's this internal struggle going on within his mind about how to get out. And at the same time, he's sort of narrating and almost breaking the fourth wall and talking to the reader and trying to examine why he kills people and why that needs to happen or why it shouldn't happen, but it still happens anyways, and just sort of the absurdity of the whole thing. This is what I wanted the John Wick movies to be. Smart, tense, well-written, and examining the ethics of a world built on absolutely absurd violence. So if you're like me and you were really disappointed with John Wick and what it became, I mean, I was even disappointed in the first movie. I thought it had a lot of promise, but it just didn't really deliver. If, if you were looking for that, this could be something that you might really, really enjoy. It's written really well. Like I said, the artwork is very, very great. Um, it's a massive book. It's about 750 pages and it collects five volumes of this entire series. So it's an investment in time, but it reads very fast, and it's also available on Comixology. And I'm not a sponsor or an Amazon fanboy or anything like that, but I just want to put that out there saying that it's great value. So if you're like me and you rely a lot on eBooks and Kindle, this is something to look into if you enjoy graphic novels as well. So it's highly, highly recommended. This has been Please Read Your Book. My name's Carl, and I hope to see you again soon.